In order to illustrate the quark correlation, let's see three examples. The first one, we calculated some quark correlation between matrices forming multilayers networks. In the second one, we compared quark correlation with quark correlation and with Pearson correlation on nodes and linkage different networks. Through the third example, we will explain why, why in some cases it is not necessary and not relevant to choose the quark correlation. So the first example, we have different layers representing the weighted networks firms ownership linkages of cities by NAS letters. So we have around 20 layers from agriculture, mining, manufacturing, uh, until other services. The aim is to underline the relation between activities, networks, and to wonder which one is the most central in study, studying the network of cities. The set of cities is the same in every layer, even if, for some of the network, some cities are not linked with the other ones. So the quark correlation were calculated for each couple of the matrix. The matrices are, the, this matrix is symmetric, and so we represent here only uh, the, the half part of the matrix. All the values are positive, and we selected the highest one above 0 0.5, which are in red, or quasi 0 0.5. Then, we built the graph of correlation between matrices of cities by activity. We calculated in this graph a kind of degree of, of correlation, making the summary of each node's correlation, so each matrix correlation, and we calculated also a kind of betweenness centrality in order to evaluate the most central network of city. So here, two networks are very central according to the other ones financial and insurance sector, and information and communication. All the other activities, networks, are distributed directly or indirectly, similarly to these two networks, because, by their nature, these two activities contribute to build and maintain all the other ones. Besides, mining and energy supply are organized with very different, different shapes. Now the second example. In this second example we search the correlation between air and sea network of cities. We used both QAP and Pearson correlations. So we had two layers, air network and sea networks, and we use three different delineation of uh, level of cities. So the cities themselves, the large urban regions, and also larger megalopolis. The three deline delineations are nested. So we have the city level with a certain number of nodes and linkages. They are aggregated to form the urban regions that have less nodes and linkages, and these urban regions are aggregated to form megalopolis or megalopolises. Then we calculated for nodes and links the Pearson correlation between air and sea networks for the three levels of delineations. Some linkages are between 
cities inside urban regions and megalopolises. And it is what we call reflexive um, relations. So here we have with reflexive or without reflexive. And here also links with reflexive or without re reflexive linkages. So, of course, these reflexives do not exist inside cities. One sees that more we aggregate, more the correlations are high, and making appear more similarity between air and sea networks. Then, for quap correlation, it is the same phenomena. More we aggregate, more the correlation is high. But we can also see that correlations tend to be lower uh, here for quap correlation than for correlation for nodes, nodes and links. It is normal because the correlation of structure ask higher condition than only correlation of nodes and linkages. This research allowed to specify the specialization of C megalopolises like uh, Singapore here or Shanghai here, and on another hand, air traffic specialized megalopolises like London, like Sydney here or California here, California, Mexico. Cities have a diversified activity of both network of sea and uh, air traffic, like um, Brazilian um, here, Sudeste, and the Japanese megalopolis between Tokyo and Osaka. Uh, 